good morning students today we will discuss about our new chapter language of chemistry our chapter 5 language of chemistry in language of chemistry in the last chapter we learn about chemical changes can you say what do you mean by chemical change the change which produces a new substance that is called chemical change a chemical reaction is a chemical change where different substances react and their composition changes to form a new substance that is called product the forming new substance is the product and the reacting substance is called reactant two or more reactant react to form one or more product is formed reactant are the substance that react and new substance form that is called product product we can represented by using the letter s then during chemical re on the basis of chemical change that reactant undergo chemical reactions can be of different type chemical reactions are of different type first one synthesis or combination of reaction in this reaction two or more reactant combine to form a new product two reactant react to form a new product and the second one decomposition reaction in this type of reaction a single compound break down to form two or more substances one thing broken down and simpler substance that is called the decomposition reaction and the third one that is called the displacement reaction in displacement reaction a more reactive substance displaces a less reactive substance from the compound that is called a displacement reaction and moving to the next that is double displacement reaction in double displacement reaction type of reaction two substances react with each other to form two new product two new product are formed in display double displacement reaction so the name is double displacement reaction and moving to the neutralization reaction in neutralization reaction an acid and base react to form a neutral product acid and base react to form a neutral product that is called a neutralization reaction then these are the <coughs> different ranges of reactions and moving to the characteristics of chemical reactions what are the characteristics of chemical reaction then moving to one question how do you think we can identify whether a reaction is a chemical reaction how can we identify the given reaction is chemical when a chemical reaction takes place a number of changes occur that can be observed and that help in the identification of a chemical reaction then how do you think if the reaction is chemical we can identify the given reaction is chemical then next moving to the characteristics of chemical reaction the given reaction is chemical then what are the characteristics of chemical reaction if a changes happens the color of the substance for example during the process of rusting a reddish brown powdery substance form on the iron material we call it as rust then change in the state of reactant here imagine a and b are the two reactant and growing product ab a new product is formed that is ab that means change in the state of reactant and change in the smell evolution of gas formation of precipitate evolution or absorption of heat these are the changes of or characteristics of chemical reactions and here you can see one example color changes during rusting that is chemical reaction and also one another example precipitate form during chemical reaction how the precipitate is forming during chemical reaction then moving to the action 
then aim of our experiment that is to demonstrate change in smell during chemical reaction what are the materials required one dilute sodium hydroxide ammonium chloride dilute hydrochloric acid bunsen burner test tube hold, test tube holder spatula and one dropper then procedure hold a test tube with a test tube holder and add some ammonium chloride by using spatula in it and also add a few drop of dilute NaOH sodium hydroxide into it and heat it over the Bunsen burner. Then now using dropper add dilute hydrochloric acid to the test tube. Observe the change that takes place. Observation. A foul smell is liberated when the test tube is heated. Conclusion. The foul smell indicates the formation of ammonia gas. The product is chemically different than the reactant. Different reactants such as ammonium chloride, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Hence, this reaction is a chemical reaction. And one more, another action that is to show that gas is evolved during chemical reaction. What are the materials? Dilute hydrochloric acid, sodium carbonate, test tube, test tube holder, dropper, spatula are the materials. Then what are the procedure? Hold a test tube with a test tube holder. And add some sodium, solid sodium carbonate into a test tube using spatula. Now using a dropper add dilute hydrochloric acid in the test tube and observe. After adding then observe. You can see gas is released from the solution. From that solution gas is released. Then conclusion. When dilute hydrochloric acid is added to sodium carbonate, a chemical reaction takes place which produces carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide gas and water. That we can conclude that when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to sodium carbonate, a chemical reaction takes place which produces carbon dioxide gas and water. This is the example for gas is evolved during chemical reactions. Then I think you all understood the topic. Thank you all.